everybody it's cindy a lewis and in this little video i'm going to show you how i make my homemade blending tool i've had so many ask and i've shared it several times on different videos but i uh, was asked to to just share this and little tip and trick and i'm gonna do it as a separate video so it's easy to find so i can point um, everyone to it as you need it what do you need a blending tool for well i like to blend different colors and i also like to give a lot of my cards and my journals a vintage look so i like to use a dye ink pad this is cocoa and i get this at tuesday morning but you could use any brown that you like or you could use black if you like so that's what i use now to make the actual blending tool, which is just an old pill bottle and a felt pad from Dollar Tree. This is a package of uh, Tool Bench Hardware felt pads. Um, they come in different sizes and there's two different packs that I have seen, um, depending on the size of the top of your pill bottle, um, you would choose the size of felt pad. So that's what you need. And it's really super simple to put together and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. So I use a different one for each color because the color gets into the pad and I actually really like the way that it blends the colors or um, makes the edges look aged with this felt pad, even opposed to a sponge blending tool. And then this one I've used for black. You can see it's just a plain old throwaway bottle. So I love upcycling too. This one I've already put on this bottle. Haven't used it yet. So I have one here. This is just an old ibuprofen bottle. I don't even know how long I've had it. Probably would be outdated if, if I had anything left in it. All right. Then I take a, a felt pad. Now I look at the top and I try to see which one would fit the best. Now for this bottle, the bigger one is actually the one that would fit the best. The smaller one is just too small and you can trim it if you like. Now these felt pads come with adhesive on the back. You don't have to uh, use any other glue, but if you want it to stay on for longer, I would put a little hot glue on the top. You don't have to put a lot, just a little hot glue and then I would just make sure you line it up and voila, you have your help, your pad on there. Now, if you wanna trim it where it's a little bit uh, longer, you can certainly do that, but I don't think it's gonna affect anything unless you're just like bearing down on it or something. So how do I use it? Let me show you really quickly. I just take my uh, homemade blending tool get a lot of ink on it, and for aging my papers, I just go around the edges. So I just wanna show you um, how it works. And really and truly, that's super, super simple. So you have the really bright color here, and then it ages it on this side. I don't know how well you can tell. Let's try it on this green. And I'm just gonna show you. It's very, very cool to have this simple, inexpensive way to use a blending tool so you can see the difference so anyway that's how i make my homemade blending tool and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up i'd love to hear your comments and thank you so much for watching Bye bye